Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm in Hell's Kitchen, New York City, right near Times Square, and I decided to visit a very famous sandwich shop, very famous in Italy, in Florence, multiple locations in Florence. That's where they made their bones. They've been around for decades. Really popular sandwich shop in Italy, and uh, they just opened a New York location. Yeah, I'm excited. I've heard about this place. Saved me a plane ticket. New joint, new New York, Al Antico Venado spot. Let's go do this, guys. Alright, I got two, I'm not sure which one this is, they're not labeled. I got the Favoloso, which is their flagship sandwich. And I got the uh, Scacciata del Boss. I think this is the Scacciata del Boss. It's prosciutto, pecorino cheese, arugula. I'm gonna try this one first, this is their flagship. This one has pecorino cream, spicy eggplant. And uh, I forgot what they call this salami. It's a type of salami, but they don't call it salami. There's that pecorino cream right there. Look at that. Guys, nothing matches this place when it comes to their signature spreads. Their truffle creams, their pistachio creams. In this case, pecorino cream. It's absolutely delicious. Spicy eggplant adds a nice kick to that slightly sweet salami. Oh my goodness, you can't get a sandwich like this anywhere else but this place. Nowhere. It's hilarious. Italian tourists are stopping me on the street. They see the wax paper. They're like, oh! <laughs> Al Antico Vinaio, enjoy it! It's only the Italians. The bread is a little crunchy. Very crunchy. It's not doughy or anything like that. It's a very light. Try the other one. The boss of Scott Shot. This is the one with the prosciutto cotto.
remember what's in it. Pecorino cheese, prosciutto, arugula, and truffle cream. Simple. And the drizzle of olive oil. Mm. Highly recommended. The truffle cream is not overpowering, it's very subtle. The arugula gives it a little bitterness. To go with the sweet prosciutto, the sharp pecorino, the olive oil. Oh my goodness. Check that out, guys. There's that truffle cream. There's that truffle cream right there. This one is diesel, guys. A lot of freaking prosciutto in there. Uh, this one's pretty good. The other one was a little skimpy on the meat, but otherwise, just top-notch ingredients. The bread is made in-house. What else do you want me to say? Signature spreads that you can't find anywhere else? One of a kind, baby. One of a kind. So what will I score these sandwiches? Grew up in New York, I'm used to them being a little more stuffed. Italians don't stuff their sandwiches like they do here in New York delis. They just don't. Could this use a little more salami? Yes. It, yes, it can. So I'm going to go 8-7. Solid, the spreads, the quality of the meats, the bread, love it. Uh, needed a little more, uh, not just uh, meat, but maybe they could have added something to this thing. Like, uh, I don't know, some tomatoes. And the fact that they don't custom the sandwiches, they don't custom make them. Uh, you, you can't mix the meats, at least not in the Italian locations. I don't know about this New York location, but in Italy, if you tell them to mix their salami with mortadella, they'll scream out blasphemy. They'll be like, you're a blasphemer, you're a freaking heretic. Uh, this is a very simple but a very delicious sandwich nonetheless. So 8-7 uh, for the Favolosa. And as for the... Scacciata del Boss, I like this a little more. It had the arugula, more components of flavor. I love that truffle oil. Fantastic. I'm going to go 8-9. Eight, 8-9 nine. Eight, nine for the Scacciata del Boss. In the end, it's a very simple sandwich, guys. Uh, very few ingredients. Solid ingredients, nonetheless, but very few. So, just under the 9 mark. 8-9 for the Scacciata del Boss. Well, guys, that about does it for me. I am stuffed. I'm gonna go finish that tonight. Yeah. Right around midnight or something, I'm gonna go and uh, finish those two sandwiches off, or at least one of them, man. I'm stuffed. Guys, uh, if you can, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like the video. Subscribe, hit the bell so you can watch my videos as soon as they drop. It would help me out a lot. Remember to like, guys. I know you guys enjoy the content, and sometimes you forget to hit the smash, to smash the like button. It's very important to me. It would help me out, and uh, I would appreciate it. So I look forward to our correspondences. Did you try the sandwich before in Italy? Were you blown away? I was. And uh, I really would absolutely, I would totally visit this place again. Take care, folks. And remember, keep those bellies full. This is Antonio signing off.